Hi, I'm State Representative Ted Nesbitt, now down in Harrisburg at the Farm Show, and joining me is Secretary of Agriculture, Russell Redding. So nice thanks, thanks for joining me. And as usual, this is an exciting place. Kind of give me some of the highlights of this year's Farm Show, if you would. Well, I'll start with the theme. You know, we have uh, 103rd Farm Show, Inspiring Pennsylvania Story. I and mean, you can't tell the story of Pennsylvania without agriculture. Uh, so we start there, you look around, you, you'll see that theme throughout the, the show. I'm really proud of the farm marketplace we have just off to the side here. Want people to know what we produce, uh, create a farm market feel so folks can buy those products and enjoy them all, uh, all year. Uh, we've got new livestock shows, craft beers, uh, uh, we've got the hard ciders in this year, so a lot of good things. And tell us a little bit about how important is agriculture for Pennsylvania, specifically the economy? Yeah, so we uh, went, went through this exercise uh, a couple of years ago to, well, based on this question, because everyone had their own definition of what was agriculture. You know, for you and I, we would put forest products industry in uh, ag. Some places didn't have that. Uh, but you put it all together, it's $138 billion. That's about 18% of the state's gross economy uh, comes from ag really important, 580,000 jobs. Now, I know a lot of the folks in our area were hurting, especially some of the dairy farmers. What are some of the things the state is doing to help that industry out? Yeah, so we have, uh, you know, the dairy is the largest segment of production agriculture in the state, and uh, as you point out, it just really struggled the last couple of years, and we responded in part with uh, a plan. I mean, we have to understand because part of that's a federal pricing system, part of it's marketing and consumption, part of it's we have to reinvest. So the uh, state uh, dairy investment program that you were supportive of in the, in the last budget, $5 million to try to help uh, reinvest. Uh, we're working on that, working with our federal uh, uh, administration and our, our PA congressional delegation. Uh, some of the individual uh, processors to reinvest in their business as well. A lot of good things going on, but it's not a quick answer right. to the dairy, right? So. What are some of the other challenges? I know there's a, a spotted lanternfly problem that's going on, and what, what are some of the things you're doing to combat that, and what are some of the other problems facing yeah, the industry? Yeah, uh, certainly the spotted lanternfly is, is a real issue for us, and, and trying to, you know, it's the only place in North America, it's, it's found in Pennsylvania, started up 2014, we're several years on, uh, this invasive pest in every way. Um, you know, we're working with the U.S. Department of Agriculture to control that, try to contain it and suppress it. Uh, so that's a big issue for 2019. Uh, the weather, uh, we hope, is uh, a little more favorable to production agriculture in 2019. Really tough year. Nearly 70 inches of rain, wow. second highest. We're 42 inches normal. Uh, we're 70 inches uh, in 2018. So really tough on crops. And uh, So we're hopeful. Uh, that 2019 is a good year for agriculture. And here at the Farm Show, I know I'm going to interview some constituents later that bring their animals down, and you know, there's a lot of exciting things, but a smaller percentage of people are involved in agriculture now overall. What are some of the things that people aren't into farming can see at the Farm Show that you would recommend they come check out? Yeah, I, I would start with, uh, you know, take a look at the, you know, the greenhouse production. I mean, folks, even though they may not be in production agriculture, there are scalable sort of systems for gardens and backyards and small hobby pieces. Take a look at that. Look at the Pennsylvania preferred products, uh, what is actually produced here, and uh, you know, they get a sense of what what we do from dairy to honey and, and apples and all of that great stuff. Uh, you know, take a look at the, uh, you know, a, a lot of the uh, arts and crafts and, you know, things that are agriculturally based from 4-H and FFA are here as well. So every every corner's got a story. Everything. Yeah. Has, has there been a, an inspiring story that you have? I mean, I don't mean to put you on the spot, because, you know, is there something specific that you've seen? It's like you, you really would like people to come see or, or hear? Yeah, I think they, you know, go, go to, there, there's a 101 stage. It's over in the Expo Hall right behind the food court. Uh, I say to, you know, take a look at that. We've got a full listing. You know, if you want to hear about uh, New Holland agriculture and what's new in technology, you want to talk about drones, you want to look at the science, you want to talk about organic ag, we put things on that stage every half hour to tell a different sort of story. I like that just because it's this great diversity through the farm show. We capture it. You can. It's not just a static display that you can talk to the people who are actually making it happen. Yeah, and I saw a, a very interesting display on drones. There's also yeah. tractors that basically drive themselves off satellites. So it's not farming that people would think of, you know, of 50 years, 75 years ago. It's quite, it's quite technological now. Yeah, I mean, you, you can see both the draft horses, which were are part of our story and, and you know, of agriculture. You can still see them, but you can go look, take a look at the drones and uh, the, the technology embedded in ag. It's all here at the farm show. All right, well, thank you yeah. for joining me. Pleasure. Great to see yeah, you. Great to you. see you.